Hello. I seem to be getting asked how I feel about Kate Bishop. And I guess the best way to, <laughs> to start off with Kate is, is to talk about what she's capable of. Kate Bishop, the new Hawkeye, can teleport back-to-back. Uh, -back. She can create wormholes that other people can walk through. Um, Kate can use her advanced tech to create projections that can distract other people. Yeah, damn, you know. I was wondering if Kate could fly. Uh, Kate can fly, you know. Uh, it seems that the only limit is your imagination. There doesn't seem to be a teleport range limit right now either. It's just pretty incredible. I've seen Kate manipulate her own molecules to make herself weightless, you know. Uh, Kate can hack terminals. Um, you know, I'm, I'm having fun at the game's expense at this point, but am I really even stretching it that far? Kate seems to be able to do literally anything. I feel bad for any of the heroes that come out after this bitch because it's like, well, what are you going to do with them? I've seen Kate attack invisible enemies and manifest heroic orbs seemingly out of thin air. Here I am pausing the game trying to find who she's attacking, but you know what? Kate doesn't need an enemy. Kate is not bound by our limitations. Y'all wanted to play Spider-Man, you can play Kate Bishop, man. Watch Kate Bishop fly. But that's not all. Watch Kate Bishop soar. You can be the king of New York. King. <laughs> Queen, bitch. And slay you will, slay you must. These streets ain't gonna save themselves. And with the height limit that only allows you to go a certain distance high, you need to take that aggression and take it out on the enemy. Have you heard of the X-Men Psylocke? Psh, you mean Kate Bishop? <laughs> Have you heard of the weapon Needler from Halo? Psh, you mean Kate Bishop? Yeah. Okay. All of it. Now what are you asking me though? Is Kate Bishop fun? Sure. You know, combat's the best part of this game. Kate Bishop is an amazing character. Incredible even. Uh, not my cup of tea. But that's because I have favorites. Like most people who want to play this game. Or play any Marvel game would have favorites. And until this game kind of catches up to that. We got a problem. Is your question how I feel about the story content that was added? It was fine. It was serviceable. I'm interested in the live service aspect of this game, not more chapters of a single player that just happens to have co-op in it. That's boring. That's one and done. You have no reason to play this with friends. And if you tried, you can't all be the same character. So only one of you gets to be the new hero. This game needs a rewarding, replayable mode or three to keep people invested. That's how you keep people on the hamster wheel. That's how you make this profitable. Defenders bring up Destiny all the time like it was farted out this shitty. But allow me to say three things. Patrol. PvP and loot. Destiny 1 had these three things six years ago. And this game? Marvel's Avengers has exotic gear that's worse than blue gear. It couldn't sell emotes right now even if it did have an emote wheel. It couldn't sell skins even if there were MCU and comic book outfits. And it's because this live service lacks an end game. It lacks any substantial social aspects that would keep people living in this world. This campaign stuff is okay right now, but it's not a solution, and this game's got problems. If this game were a human body, all of the limbs would have fallen off when it launched. DLC heroes right now are better than nothing for the people who are playing this game religiously like every day, but it's like stapling arms onto the back of the torso of the dude whose arms fell off. You can't expect them to work, first of all, no. <laughs> Second of all, it's been three months. You gotta be able to do something better than this. And third, bruh, girl archer, followed by 
another archer in in a month maybe <laughs> that'd be like if the band-aid was actually a napkin and it just had two pieces of like you know like desk tape not even not just the worst tape for something like this that's what kate bishop is the wrong answer to the question who's your favorite hero if you ever see somebody answer the question hey what superpower would you love to have and they answer hawkeye laugh at them don't spare them the ridicule thinking you're being polite and like oh a saint or some shit like that if you're really if you want to be kind be honest with them tell them how whack an answer that is the only uh, man there better be a sob story you know what i mean like oh oh my my father my my father my dead relative and i used to read hawkeye stories Marvel's Avengers needed incentive for daily logins. It needs incentive for people to group up social features, maybe even a social space. Uh, I've said it a billion times before, a patrol mode that where we can encounter other real players in the wild, team up and check out their gear and see how they're specced. And oh my God, y'all needed to take it easy on this young Avenger shit, at least at the beginning, man. Go with the sure thing first, real people to hell in. But you out here on this, oh, you like the single player campaign, you can only play once, you can play Thor for 10 minutes. You lost people that'll never come back. Because the truth is, and some people are avoiding this truth, if this game takes six months after launch to scrape its way up to what Destiny was six years ago, does it deserve people's attention? The answer is no. This game needs to innovate. It doesn't need to give you the same thing. The Marvel code of paint they swore would save this game and look at where we are now do i consider this dlc good on its own yes and and more importantly i think they need to dump heroes as soon as they're done with them into the game instead of having them wait for this story reveal that's gonna take forever man will square enix stop lighting money on fire by funding this game Will Marvel suddenly give a shit about the bad optics from this game and pull their license? Will Crystal Dynamics come to their senses and communicate with the remaining player base and make sexier skins? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Damn it, Gohan. The balls are inert. Uh, I'm gonna start throwing some clips at the end of these videos that I'll refer to as Marvel's Avengers moments just you know at the end of every Marvel video I make in the future so brace yourself for some of these <laughs> it's getting them all right boom headshot <laughs> Right in the face. No, that's a robot aim, do you? <laughs> Fucking aimbot. <laughs> Literally, do you? Hmm? Because they're called aim? Huh? No? Yep, who cares? <laughs> I'm sick of it. It's been three months. Woo! <laughs> what, you like that? <laughs> well, trying to be Hawkeye when you're not Hawkeye will do that to you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes I'm just trying to get like a good picture, but then I see something crazy. You wanna, you wanna know, you wanna know what I saw? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this motherfucker's doing? Holy shit! <laughs> He's diving oh my god! Wait, the Thor's here too. And Hulk's just like, oh my god, the humanity. <laughs> That's what Hulk sounds like in, uh, we should get a Gilbert Godfrey voiceover for, for characters. You see, they've gone the wrong direction with this whole game, man. They could have just made it hilarious. You know? Snoop Dogg voices, you know, Thor, shit like that. Snibbity diggity. What's the name of this hammer? Mjolnir. <laughs> and for the record, I know how to pronounce Mjolnir. The joke is that he wouldn't know how to, because he's not a nerd. Like, you're a freaking nerd. You... <laughs> If you were about to correct me, I'm not one to take pictures normally, but if you've ever had a, a pretty good shot and it was maybe compromised by something in the way, an enemy that you couldn't go through, 
Maybe you couldn't get high enough to get a good picture. Maybe a Jarvis barrier can't be turned off. You name it. I'm right there with you, man. Clint glitched into this encounter. There were five Avengers fighting this guy. And I can't even get higher than his, than his butt cheeks. A top-down one wouldn't have been so bad, even with the Jarvis barrier, but... I guess that's how it goes. Toggle. Enemy. Visibility. As well as allow us to go through this, please. Can't you see photo mode enhancements are at the top of the list of priorities, I mean... It's clearly what everybody treats this game like, so damn photo mode.